All right, so this problem is just like when we calculated Ka with one small difference, and that is that we're finding Kb, and they're giving us pH. And if we write an equation for a reaction with a base, let's just call something uh, B for base. It's reacting with water. If it is acting as a base, that means it is receiving a proton or H plus from the other thing. So if water is donating an H plus to the base, it is going to end up becoming BH plus. And that means water is going to become OH minus. So this is what we really want to find, uh, how much OH minus is produced. And we're given pH for that, which isn't something you can use to directly find OH minus, but we can use it. Remember, if you know pH, you can find any of the other three, pH, pOH, OH, or H+. So let's do that. So one way to do this is to say, okay, if the pH is 10.2, then the pOH, together they always have to add up to 14, that means the pOH is 3.8. So that is something we can figure out just by subtracting by 14. And just as the pH is the negative log of H+, plus, the pOH is defined as the negative log of OH-. minus. Which means if we rearrange this algebraically, OH- minus is 10 to the negative pOH. And again, this is something you might want to just know, um, just like with pH, that if you go the other way, it's 10 to the negative pH or 10 to the negative pOH. But anyway, aside from that, if we now calculate this, 10 to the negative 3.8, I get my OH minus concentration is 1.58 times 10 to the negative 4. And I'm writing this down here because I'm, I'm sort of anticipating the ice chart I'm going to need. Because again, anytime you're trying to do a problem with a Ka or Kb, you're probably going to need an ice chart. So I C E. Notice I put this down under E because this is the final concentration. This is the end. This is what gives it the pH of 10.2. I'm going to assume that it's initially zero for both BH plus and OH minus. They didn't exist in any amount until this reaction happened. On the other hand, the base started off at 0.95. And water we can ignore because it's a liquid. It doesn't play a role in our K value. So that is our, our situation. So that means our BH minus concentration, excuse me, BH plus, must be the same as the OH minus. Because if they both started at zero, then that means they both increase by the same amount. So if I really want to be um, thorough, I can fill these values in. Which means the base decreased by that amount. And if I, I'm not even going to bother putting it in my calculator, but I could, it really doesn't change at all. That number is so small that when you subtract it from 0.95, it really doesn't change. So now we're calculating Kb. Kb is defined in this particular reaction. So it'll be BH plus times OH minus divided by the concentration of the base. And so plugging in these numbers, it's going to give me 1.58 times 10 to negative 4. And that will be squared because I'm multiplying by it twice. BH plus and OH minus divided by 0.95. And so if I calculate that now, I get a Kb value of 2.64 times 10 to the negative 8. So that will be my final answer for this problem. And again, just like the Ka, same sort of routine. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.